Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about map reduce algorithms. So let's start. So first uh, thing we need to understand is what is map reduce. So the map reduce is a technique in which huge program is subdivided into small tasks and run parallelly to make computation faster, save time, and mostly used in distributed file system. So as we already known that big data contains a huge amounts of or terabytes of data for the processing so for so to manage uh, that huge data we need a uh, we need to implement such technique uh, which can handle this types of data so for that this technique uh, has a long coding or we can say that uh, the program is too bulky so for that we are introducing a map reduce algorithm so the MapReduce algorithm divides that huge uh, or the bulky program into the smaller task and each task is parallelly run. So at the end we get the same result but the time uh, for processing is reduced. So that is how MapReduce algorithm is used to manage the big data for processing. The MapReduce algorithm contains two important tasks namely Map and Reduce. So map task is done by means of mapper class and the reduce task is done by the uh, reducer class. So there are main two classes for that mapper and reducer. So each has uh, their different tasks suppose in the mapper, mapper class tokenization, mapping and shuffling or shorting is done and in the reducer class searching and reducing is done. So mapper class takes an input, tokenize it, map and sort it. The output of the mapper class is now used uh, as an input to the reducer class uh, which in turn searches uh, matching pairs and reduce them. So MapReduce algorithms are of four types which is uh, sorting, searching, indexing and TIIDF. So the MapReduce implements uh, various mathematical algorithms to divide a task into a small parts and assign them to multiple systems. In technical terms, MapReduce al algorithm helps in sending a map and reduce task to appropriate servers in a cluster. So this uh, algorithms include sorting, searching, indexing, indexing and TI-IDF task. So what actually happened like the big bulky program is divided into the multiple tasks and this task is running on different computers but all that computers are uh, connected uh, with one main server so that small task is parallelly run on uh, one computer so it can easily uh, execute it and at the end all the output is together merged on the server system now as I said that uh, this mathematical algorithm ma takes uh, these four terms which is a sorting searching indexing and TIIDF so let's uh, understand each in detail so the first is a sorting. So sorting is one of the basic map reduce algorithms to process and analyze data. For any type of basic task, we need to sort the data. So this is simple a sorting. MapReduce implements a sorting algorithms to automatically sort and output a key value a pair from mapper by their keys. So the data is stored in key value pair. So we are sorting data based on the key. So we can easily uh, access that data. That is why first thing we uh, do on that data is sorting. Second is a searching. So searching plays an important role in MapReduce algorithm. It helps in the com uh, it it helps in combiner phase and in the reducer phase. Suppose we want to find one particular data. Yes. So based on that, uh, so based on some uh, key value we can easily uh, search from data which we can easily search from the database so searching is a very important uh, term in uh, map reduce algorithm third is the indexing so indexing is a uh, used to point to a particular data and its address it perform badge indexing on input files or particular mapper the indexing technique that is normally used in a map reduce is known as inverted index Search engines like Google and Bing use the inverted indexing techniques. So indexing means we are providing one 
unique identity unique index number to the data uh, so uh, it, it is a uh, very useful in the searching uh, suppose we want to find one particular data so we can easily do with the index yes rather than data so that is a uh, very useful and uh, it is a uh, this uh, the technique used in the map reduce is known as an inverted index and that is used in the google and big uh, bing uh, for the searching task next is a tfidf so tfidf is a text processing algorithm with short form term frequency and inverse document frequency it is one of the common web analysis algorithms here the term frequency refers to the numbers of times a term appears in the documents so for any text processing suppose we want to find one particular term so we are now finding that suppose the term is okay so we'll find that how many time okay is repeated in whole document so that is the frequency so uh, it has two it is a combination of term frequency and inverse document frequency so what is the term frequency here so it measures how frequently a particular term occurs in the document it is calculated by the numbers of time word appears in the document divided by the total numbers of words in the document suppose we want to find the term frequency and we are as i said that we are finding term okay in one document page so suppose okay is repeated five times in whole document and the total number of words is 50 so 5 divided by 50 is the term frequency and the inverse document frequency so it measures the importance of terms how we have lots of document and from that which term is very important so to find that the frequency used is a inverse document frequency so it is calculated by the numbers of documents in the text database divided by the numbers of documents where a specific term appears so to measure the inverse document frequency a uh, number of documents in the text database divided by number of documents where a specific term appears so suppose there are 50 documents available in our database so 50 divided by the specific term appears in whole that 50 documents suppose uh, uh, actually is a word and that is uh, repeated uh, 70 times from that 50 from in fi that 50 documents so 50 divided by 70 is the inverse document frequency so that is how uh, the frequency so that is how the inverse document frequency is calculated so that is all about the map reduce algorithms and uh, main thing we need to understand is map reduce algorithm is mainly used to handle the big data or to process the big data suppose we we want to analyze a big data or find one particular pattern from that so for that map reduce algorithm is a very useful by using that algorithm we are we can easily do that task uh, we are dividing that whole process into a smaller task and we are executing that smaller task parallelly uh, by using some this algorithm like sorting searching indexing and tfidf and at the end we are getting result very easily so that is all about map reduce algorithm thank you so much for listening that's it thank you so much for listening